faithful who died in Christ. Our service begins on page 32 after the opening sentence. are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints, and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. <clears throat>
that he ate. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. The appointed Psalm 97. Well, apparently, I'm making a mistake there. Psalms. Two psalms appointed for this morning service, 111 and 112, found on page 619 and 620, Psalm 111 and 112. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Happy are they who fear the Lord. And ha Hallelujah. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. In the assembly of the upright in the congregation. His works are full of majesty and splendor, and his righteousness endures forever. He makes his marvelous works to be remembered. The Lord is the Lord of heaven. He gives food to those who fear him. He is ever mindful of his covenant. The works of his hand are faithfulness and justice. All his commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever. Because they are and He sent redemption to his people. He command his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. Hallelujah. Happy are they who fear the Lord and have great delight in his commandments. Wealth and riches will be in his, their house, and their righteousness will last forever.
It is good for them to be generous in lending and to manage their affairs with justice. They will not be afraid of any evil rumors. Their heart is right. They put their trust in the Lord. They have given freely to the poor, and their righteousness stands fast forever. They will hold up their heads with honor. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A reading from the second book of Esdras, chapter 2, reading from 42 to 47. I, Ezra, saw a mountain, sorry, I, Ezra, saw on Mount Zion a great multitude that I could not number, and they all were praising the Lord with songs. In their midst was a young man of great stature, taller than any of the others and on the head of each of them is placed a crown. But he was more exalted than they. And I was held spellbound. Then I asked an angel, who are these, my Lord? He answered and said to me, these are they who have put off mortal clothing and have put on immortal and have confessed the name of God. Now they are being crowned and receive palms. Then I said to the angel, who is that young man who is placing crowns on them and putting palms in their hands? He said, he answered and said to me, he is the son of God whom they confessed in the world. So I began to praise those who had stood valiantly for the name of the Lord, the word of the Lord.
found in the bulletin on page two. reading from the letter to the Hebrews chapter 11 verse 32 to 40 and chapter 12 verse 1 to 2 and what more should I say for time would fail me to tell of Gideon Barak Samson Jephthah of David and Samuel and the prophets who through faith conquered kingdoms administered justice obtained promises shut the mouths of lions, quenched the raging fire, escaped the edge of the sword, won strength out of, weakness, out of weakness, became mighty in war, put foreign armies to flight. Women received their death, their dead by resurrection. Others were tortured, refusing to accept release in order to obtain a better resurrection. Others suffered mocking and flogging, and even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned to death. They were sawn in two. 
They were killed by the sword. They went about in skins of sheep and goats, destitute, persecuted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains, and in caves and holes in the ground. Yet all these, though they were commanded for their faith, did not receive what was promised, since God had provided something better so that they would not without us be made perfect. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God, the word of the Lord. Apostles' Creed on page 42. I 
may believe in God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. within and among all nations. End all your church with faithfulness. Defend, O oh Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed. Lord, renew your spirit within us. Let us say together a collect for saints and martyrs of the Caribbean, found on page three of our bulletin. <coughs> Almighty God, who call your, <coughs> your witnesses from, from every nation and feel your glory in their lives. They have for the example of the saints, saints and martyrs of the Caribbean, and sent us by their fellowship, that we like them faithful in the service of your kingdom. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O oh God, the lover of unity and the author of peace, to know you is eternal life, to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your servants, from all assaults of the enemy that we may trust in your defense and not fear the power of any adversary. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Into your hands, Lord, we command ourselves to stay. Let your presence be with us to its close. Strengthen us to remember that in every good work we are serving you. Give us a diligent and watchful spirit 
that we may seek in everything to know your will, and knowing it may gladly perform it to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the rest of the past night and for the gift of a new day with its opportunities of pleasing you. Grant that we may so pass its hours in perfect freedom of your service that at evening we may again give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. O oh God, you make us glad with the weekly remembrance of your glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such a blessing through our worship of you that the week to come may be spent in your favor through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us say together the prayer of dedication on page 47. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or conceive by the power which is at work among us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all ages. The Lord be with you. Let us bless the Lord. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy and pardon of God rest in peace. Devotional hymn in the bulletin 844. Eight 44.
most gracious and heavenly Father, you have called us as a people. You put in us purpose. Our heart is yearning for you. Speak to us, good Lord. Speak to us individually. Speak to us as a church. Speak to us as a family. We now come before you asking for your guidance. In Jesus' name, amen. The first lesson was read from second address 242 and 47. And the second lesson was from the book of Hebrew 11, 32 to 40, 12, 1 to 2. These two lessons provide a perfect synergy. And in context of the Psalms that had been read, and I quote from Hebrews, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witness, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely. And let us run with perseverance, the race, as he set before us. Look into Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our feet, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding his shame, and has taken his seat at that right hand of the throne of God. It would dawn on you that Ezra, a prophet, he was a scribe and a lawyer, learned in the law. He had two main tasks in bringing two waves of exiled Jew towards Jerusalem. As a prophet, he was made for such a time. And in his vision, he saw on Mount Zion a great multitude that he could not number. My friends, we are not a alone. Our ancestors has gone on and are still ever present in our lives. And then Ezra in the Old Testament he pointed to Jesus Christ. We ourselves must forever look to Christ and the cross in our lives and in our own world today. The scripture and teaching has been taken out of the school, has left our classrooms has left our family table when we as adults way back then would be called by our grandmothers 
to sit on the steps and cite the Psalms. We knew them by heart. It kept us. It guided us. It grounded us. We are asked, my friends, to go back to basics. To remember that Jesus died for all of us. There is neither Jews nor Gentiles, but one human family. Family of God. We are but one body with many members. And we must seek to bring together each and every one of us and also get out in the byways and highways and bring people in. And a quotation, then I said to the angel, who is that young man who is placing the crown on them and pulling, putting palms in their hand? He answered and said to me, he is the son of God, whom they confessed in the world. So I began to praise those who stood valiantly for the name of the Lord. My friend, life journey is not easy. We will be persecuted, but we must stand fast and stay steadfast in God's word. God sent his only son into the world that all of us, whosoever will, may come. May come to know his saving and loving grace, but not to keep it for ourselves. Remember, we are the salt of the earth. The sword lost its fever to be thrown out and trampled on the ground. We are the light of the world. We must stand as a bushel, stand as a beacon. These are troubling times, my brothers and sisters. Right at home, you looked on the videos going around, and you see girl fighting girl. Young man fighting young man. Where is this coming from? Everyone egging the other on. No one Not even, I wouldn't even say intervene, but no one even said, what would Jesus do? Your voice makes sense. Maybe there's no one wants to stand out and says, say, listen, Mary and Susan, you're wrong, stop it. Your mother and your father is coming. Simple things like that to diffuse what in my view is the fight for the soul of our children. And that is exactly what it is. It's a spiritual fight, my friend. A fight that our forefathers would have endured. And there are examples. Daniel in the lion's den. He had a fight. He fought for his faith. He stood up. As a result of him standing up, he was thrown in the lion's den. But my friend, God is real. God came through for Daniel. And he can come true, my friends, for you. He has came through for me 
and others. And he will do it yet again. My friend, and I quote from Hebrews. Again, therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witness, let us also lay aside every weight and sin that clings so closely and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, the race of life, my friends, perseverance is what makes the difference. My friend, and I quote further, we have to look to Jesus and him alone, who is the pioneer and perfecter of our feet. Who for sake of joy that was set before him endured the cross disregarding the shame and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne. My friend, there is hope. There is hope for all of us in this life. But we must take into account that there is a life to come. As Ezra saw a multitude of persons, those that came through tribulation, those that were forced to follow pagan practices. Are we forced to follow practices that are not consistent with God's word? Do we give equal time at our work? Action him seven hundred and forty seven forty.
souls of all the faithful departed and all the saints who died in faith. Eternal Lord God, you hold all souls in life. Give to your holy church in paradise and on earth your life and your peace. And grant that we, following the example of those who have served you here and are now at rest, may at the last enter with them into your unending joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, now and forever. Amen. Seventy-seven, as we pray in time of trouble.
Welcome to St. Monica. Welcome. We are glad you are here. Whether you're just visiting or are searching for a place to worship, we are delighted to have you with us today. We are a great growing and giving congregation that loves the Lord and his people. We welcome you to be a part of this wonderful experience of St. Monica's. Church, please let us make an effort to invite at least one unchurched person and encourage at least one lapsed family member or friend to our worship service. We extend a special thank you for all who contributed to and shared in our family fun day experience. Please remember, Remembrance Day service will be held next Sunday, November 13, at 11 a.m. at this church. Annual reports. Heads of organization are asked to begin preparing annual reports, which are, include financial reporting. Reports are to be submitted by December 23, 2022. Please put in your calendar, Harvest Sunday will be celebrated on November 20th. You are encouraged to make contribution towards the decoration of the church on a regular basis. Those who use envelope system may do so by utilizing the category other. Just tick that off and specify decoration. Others may use a plain envelope and specify decorations. Please, as a church, we ask you to remember in our prayers all the bereaved, especially the family of the late Reverend Canon Warren Roll and Reverend Canal Colin Sampson, and all those who mourn the loss of loved ones. We ask you to pray for our sick and shut in members and remember our students studying abroad. We also ask for you to update those persons who are studying abroad, bring it to the attention of Ms. Gillian. Are there any persons celebrating birthdays, anniversary, or special occasion this week? Can you kindly come forward? No one. Is there anybody visiting for the first time that you'd like to be recognized? Come, somebody. You could come forward. Yeah, go ahead. What's your name? Okay, glad to have you. Thank you. 